What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Talking Bread. I'm so glad to be here today. Happy February, although it's January while we're recording. Um, I have one of my favorite people in the kitchen with me today, the virtual kitchen, if you will. I love her. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yes. Hi. And what you do? I am Yaya from Brooklyn, New York. And I teach Zumba. And I love it. I love my ladies and gentlemen, because some boys do come to my class. Okay. And it's probably the best side job in the world. Okay. So um how did you how did you get into dance? Like, is dance something that you've been doing your whole life? Walk us through how we got to Zumba and being a Zumba. Um, I danced since, I've been dancing since I was little. I want to say eight. Okay. Um, you, in a, in a Latino house, you grow up with music. Yeah. You listen to music all day. I started off with hip hop. I tried ballet. Nada. Same. No patience. No patience for that. <laughs> um, it's awesome. It's it's a beautiful thing, but I have no patience. Yeah, um, yeah. Then I went on to join groups, uh, dance groups. Uh, started a dance group in high school. Uh, taught kids. Worked at studios. Did weddings, sweet sixteens. Uh, performed all over the city. And then I became a mom. Well, I took Zumba before becoming a mom, a few months before becoming a mom, As because a I wanted to get, I, I, I always went to the gym and was bored. Uh-huh. The treadmill, bored, walk, it's just boring. It is boring. And everyone that knows me knows that I love to dance. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that. And I was like, let me try Zumba. So. Before taking Zumba, I thought, I don't know if I'm going to sweat with Zumba. It's yeah. not, it doesn't seem like a high cardio. Um, the stereotype is, you know, mom and grandma takes it. And, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't think it's going to make me sweat. And I want to yeah. lose weight. I want to feel good. Mm -hmm. But then I just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I, I I went. I there was this one instructor. She her name was Suni. Uh -huh. My gosh, she was the best. She was a machine, and she uh, I I stepped into that class and I fell in love, mm -hmm. and then um, I got pregnant. Shout out to Gigi. <laughs> I got, um, no, before, yeah, I got pregnant and then I wanted to go back and soon he left the gym. So that made me very upset. And then I found this other girl, her name is Stephanie. I always post her, yeah. her name is Stephanie. Um, I found her and I got it back and I would, and then I would go to other classes and I, I, you know, some classes have high energy, some have low or medium. And I went to this one class that I did not like. I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> I didn't like it. And it's okay. I, class was packed. Everyone else loved it. Mm -hmm. It was just not my style. And my husband, Greg, was like, why don't you become a Zumba instructor? You used to dance your whole mm -hmm. life. You used mm -hmm. to teach. Why don't you become a Zumba instructor? And of course, my first thing was, I'm a little too thick to teach. No. I don't think I'll feel uh, confident. I, I don't feel like I, you know, people want to see all this moving around. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't, I don't know. That was the only thing stopping me was the fact that I didn't think I was going to do well because of the way I look. Wow. So yeah. yeah. And, and see, like, it's, it's just interesting how that works because like you move better than the, a lot of the skinniest people 
<laughs> that I see doing these Zumba videos throughout Instagram. So it does not matter your size. It just matters like your drive and determination and how much you want it and how much you want to do it. Oh yeah. I, well, I, I, I learned. Yeah. I learned that. I, um, I got my certification. I did it. It took me about seven, eight months to actually teach. Mm -hmm. And throughout that time I started taking, um, I took a few of Stephanie's classes and she's so good. She's so amazing. Um, she, and then I just started feeling myself again. Okay, you know what? I need to get over it. Yeah. Get over it. Um, and let me just start doing my own choreography and see how I feel to my own choreo. Zumba provides choreo for you, you know, every other month, which is great for people that have a little hard time choreographing their own stuff. Yeah. And, um, long story short and then I started working at the gym and that's when everyone was like oh my god you look normal <laughs> yeah everybody uh -huh. every type of body is normal yes it is any not whatever you're normal but I get what they were saying normal as in I'm not super fit you right. know mm-hmm my god you you know um you representing us and it feels good and the way you move and you know and coming from other women that felt oh yeah you, like, the feeling is just it's it's phenomenal the feeling is amazing to have these women just come to you and be like oh my god you make me feel sexy you make me feel like i can do whatever move I want to do. And I don't care who's watching. Right. And I'm like, that is the whole point for you to feel exactly like that. So that's, that's how I guess everybody came. They were drawn to me because the minute I stepped into, to teach, I let go of myself and I was like, I'm already here. Mm -hmm. My big, my big butt is going to jiggle, but it's okay. <laughs> it's um, okay. It's supposed to. It's fine. Yeah. And then, and so talking about that, like, so you started off, this was all pre COVID when you, oh, yeah. uh, when you started uh, the Zumba journey and becoming a teacher and being in the gym. And um, then you had to transition to doing online courses. So, how was that for you? Did you see um, some of your students kind of? Um, lose their will to commit or did you see more commitment because people could work out from home how was that uh um when it first started I didn't want to do it mm -hmm. I was going to do videos and I was going to record my whole session and send it as an email and um I posted a video of myself doing that and a lot of my students were like oh my god please do zoom just please do Zoom and we will be there. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it was hard. You know, we had to get used to a lot of things. Um, yeah. Because as an instructor, as a performer, you know, yeah. as a performer, you want that audience. You want to um, get that vibe from people. Um, and I tried it at first. Um, everyone was motivated you know what, oh, that's we can't be, we're home, we're stuck home, we are going to do this. I mean, I had 40, 50, 60 people in one Zoom, just mm -hmm. continuing to come and come. And, um, you know, I, I, they were always free. Um, if you wanted to donate, you were always welcome to donate. They were always free. I didn't want to charge because some people were losing their jobs and I, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, so then as the time went, the numbers, people were losing that drive yeah. to work I out mean, we're 10 months into and I, I mean, and, and I, then I was like, okay, um, Zumba at the park, we're going to do Zumba uh -huh. at the park. And you started and, like in the spring, summertime? Yeah, summertime because it was too hot. Okay. It was too hot. <laughs> we started, we started at the summer. Stephanie joined me. Mm -hmm. Um, it's funny, I've known her for three or four years. And 
it was the first time we actually taught together. Um, so she, we, we did that at the park for a few months. She had to stop. I continued. I mean, the last day at the park was probably one of the saddest, saddest, like reality hit. We have to go back to zoom. Yeah. Um, and we were so sad and, and now we're still doing it and they come still, they, they come and we have such a good time. And I appreciate it so much because it's like, they don't have to come, you know, they don't have to show up. And it's like, we're, we're like family now at this point, we're like a little Zoom family dancing. And awesome. the changes in some of these women, oh yes. my God, like. I watch your Instagram story and I see like all of these people that share with you the so calories much. they burn, the weight loss. I mean, it's it's mind blowing to me because I was the same way. Like, I I don't like the gym. I don't like a bunch of attention, you know. And I went into a Zumba class one night, and I went back like often when I was going to the gym, and it kicked my butt. And when that's, you that's dance, people you don't, don't get think, it. Yeah, you don't people think it's going to kick your butt like that. People don't think that that um you can burn more than 500 calories in one class wow. and and let me tell you the instructor can kill herself you know doing whatever but if you don't if you don't do it then that you know that's you 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 have to want to do it right you do that extra squat lower do those jumping jacks like people yeah it's 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 a killer it, mm-hmm. it these women the amount of weight some of these women have like lost throughout the from the pandemic to now mm-hmm. and and the energy the how much they feel good about themselves and it's like it's just once you start feeling good about yourself it's forget it yeah you just feel like you can do whatever you want in the world right and that's yes. the whole point whole point of my class is to feel good about yourself you want to come and learn how to dance great you want to sweat great but I always say it, I want confidence. I want, to, I want you to be fabulous. I want you to, to, to know that you, you, you can do that if you want to. No one else can tell you any different. I love that. And that's, and that's what it's all about. It's not about coming in with you know, a deadline. And I know some people do come in with deadlines and weight loss goals, but the fact that you concentrate on just whoever is in your class feeling sexy feeling confident enough to dance and just you know have a good time really um that's what matters so um about your classes do you have is there like a entry or beginning level classes is there certain levels to certain classes or is it anyone welcome to join and do what you feel is comfortable for your body so I have, um, it's for everyone. Okay. Yeah, it's for everyone. So you do modifications. If you can't do a jumping jack, you don't. You step to the side. If your squats are not low, it's okay. You go, you know, medium. It's, it's just not. And one thing I do love to do is to teach the choreo. Mm-hmm. I just don't go crazy and just, <laughs> because it's not about me. Although I'm the teacher, yeah. I'm not, it's, it's not about me. It's not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not JLo. I'm not Beyonce to, to do extra stuff and, <laughs> yeah. and think um, I'm performing for you guys. No, I'm not. That's not my job. I'm not going to come here and, and think I'm hot and whatever. I make sure that once you, you get it, then we go into, we're in a concert. Let's go. Let's go. Cause you already know it. Yeah. So I cue a lot. So that's why it's for everyone because some songs are harder than others. And it's funny because some, some of the, the ladies will, they'll get the hard ones. Okay. You know, some will get the hard ones and some won't, won't get the, the easy ones. It's just weird, like how the mind works. Right. But it's for everyone. You start off with a warm up to warm up your body. That's, and then it's, you go into dancing and, and some of the dance routines have squats, lunges, um, and all that stuff that dance fitness stuff that you need. Okay. Awesome. So Yaya, how do anybody who's listening 
they might be like, oh yeah, okay, this gave me the motivation that I need to get started on getting back active. How can we take your classes? Um, you go to my Instagram. Which is? Yeah, yeah, surreal. Same okay. thing right here. Yeah, yeah, surreal. Only put, put together no space. Um, you message me. I, I don't charge for the first class because I want you to, to decide for yourself if I'm worth it okay. to pay me the $5, you know? I don't just, you know, I, I want to. She is worth it, just so you all know. <laughs> Because I said in my class, yes, <laughs> yes, and you can't but, focus on that, yes. But yeah, so if you think I'm worth it, then you come. I have, you know, packages where the packages um, include more. Mm -hmm. um, they, I do pop-up classes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you just hit me up on Instagram, ask for my information, and I'll give it to you. I always reply back, and I always reply back in good time. Okay. And it's really easy. You get on Zoom and you can turn off your camera. So, you know, I've had ladies that have that for months had their cameras turned off. Oh, wow. And now yeah. they're, they're twerking in the screen. <laughs> see, I would be one of those people that would be like, nope, I don't want you to see me, you know, busting a move on Zoom. Oh, no. my God. But it's because I, by this at this point we're like family yeah we are uh, and it's so it's 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 incredible how we were all more united now because of the pandemic that's the one thing i am like in the zumba career that i'm so appreciative of is like we have we're more united we're like a family we hang out you know like mm -hmm. you know we hung out a little bit before the pandemic but now you know when we went to the park um it was just everyone was just so happy to see each other yeah. and appreciate each other. And now on Zoom, it's the same thing. Like, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to go through a fitness journey with other people. Mm -hmm. It is. It's amazing because, I mean, that also helps you as a person, you know, because you're, we really are all in the same boat these days. We're all mm -hmm. in the house, you know, so um, you have these people joining you and I'm sure your students inspire you on some days. So um, every day. Yeah. When I'm hitting those squats and I see like, like, for example, one of my Claudia or Stacy and they, their squats are like, I'm like, hold on, <laughs> let me step my game up. I'm, I'm the one teaching. I'm the one doing these classes. I got to go lower now because yeah. it's like, incre it's just, it's mind blowing how they, they they're so into it it just I love it that's that's why and you know and 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 we give each other compliments like you were the shit today I mean come on now. <laughs> seriously like you were the shit today so excuse my language yeah. um but yeah it's just it's it's crazy I mean and it's it's kept me sane mm -hmm. it's kept me very sane because I did not know what to do well, I tell you what, when my back stops treating me like I'm 73 years old, then I am going to come back to your class and uh, get my twerk on because I'm ready. I'm ready to feel. Well, you have to be ready to twerk. I mean. Yeah, and confident, you know. So, um, awesome. And also, uh, what was I going to ask you? Okay, so we got your Instagram. Oh, so you recently made the transition back from uh, New York back to Chicago. So can we look forward to a Zumba in the park in Chicago um, this summer? I don't, I, I don't know. I I don't know. I you know it all depends on in on you know this whole virus thing and vaccines and you know it's getting worse. So right. we don't know um, what's happening. I, I mean, I wanted, I, I was supposed to go back to, Bro to, to Brooklyn to do the summer classes there, mm -hmm. but I was going to go back in like mid-July, August. But I, I don't know here in Chicago. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah. And, hope, and if things are better, then I will do it. 
Yeah. I, I would love to do it, but I, I just. You just don't know. Maybe. We yeah. are in, as they say, uncertain times. So it's hard to tell. I mean, you can't really call anything. Yeah. And, so, you know, because we all want to be safe. That's right. the most important thing. We exactly. want to be- And we want it to be over. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. We want to do what we can to make it stop. You know, that's yeah. the thing. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming to talk some Brit with me. I'm not done with you yet. We're going to play a little oh. game that I like to call finish this sentence. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn born and raised, right? No, I was born in Dominican Republic. Okay. Dominican Republic. Raised in Brooklyn. But you came to Brooklyn at a young age. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming that you're going to know all the answers to these questions. Don't embarrass me, Brittany. <laughs> don't, don't, emb- I'm going to remind you. <laughs> my culture is very Dominican. I know. So I know you are the reason that I know how plantains taste. <laughs> so yes, super Dominican in these streets. Okay, so let, oh my God, please don't embarrass me. Let me no, get my phone from Google stuff. Hold on, go. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so all you have to do, y'all, y'all, this is real simple. Okay, go ahead. Your, your culture is very Dominican, but it's, it's, it's a little black too. <laughs> so, you know, I know, and it's very New York. You are very New York too. Go so, ahead, go ahead. Go, go, just go. When you order a sandwich in New York, you say, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Yes! That's the best sandwich in New York on a bagel. Listen, it really is. Like, y'all, I went to see her in New York and she put me on all of the food. Mm. Okay. Missed that. Next question. Two more. Mm-hmm. See, you on your way to the crown already. So, finish this sentence. Biggie Smalls once said, <laughs> Biggie Smalls once said, birthdays was the worst days. Now, oh my God. Said, no, you know this one. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Birthdays was the worst days. Now we sip what when we thirsty? I have no idea. Oh my God. I'm so blank right now. I'm so, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> really, I was re- at that time, I was really listening to Anthony Santos and, okay. and no, Raulin. I was, I was a child. So the only reason I know this is because I have an older sibling. We sip Go champagne ahead. when we thirst. That's right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hope the next one is about food. I always know. I know that one. Oh yeah, I always know about food too. No, it's another song lyric though. No. Go. Cardi B once said. <laughs> Cardi B once said. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you, I got that bling. Close. Wait. I don't cook. Ring. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. You got I mean, she is a lot more. She's now, you know, like yeah. oh, you know, I love her. I mean, I wish I could play her in my in my uh class. Cardi B is nasty. She's, She's too nasty, nasty y'all. She she I mean, I like I it, but everybody can't, you know, everybody can't vibe to it, you know. Well, I love love. Oh, so much fun, Britt. I know. This was awesome. I'm so glad Thank that you. It means a lot. It means a lot that you girl, have of course. Of course. I need y'all to follow her. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the screen once more. You should see it when I do my hands like this. <laughs> at yeah yeah surreal on instagram and sign up for her classes follow her watch her dance um go through her page like all of her pictures make it weird 
a little creepy, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You got some new fans out there now, I'm sure. Thank you all. I hope you, that you have a good night, morning, evening, whatever time it is that you're listening. And we will see you next time. Bye.